my YouTube family. Um, no, I wasn't sleeping, but I just got home from work and I was really, really tired. Um, but I said I was gonna make some empanadas, so I just said, you know, I'm gonna come upstairs and rest for like 30 minutes. But I just had like a really interesting thing on my mind, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have a lot of interesting things to talk about, but a lot of times I just don't really have the energy to pick up the phone and turn on the camera, you know what I'm saying? And, and I was just really thinking like, you know, you know, I've, I've gone through a lot of things in my life and to be honest, like no one likes being broke, you know what I'm saying? No one likes to be stressed out about money. Nobody wants to be stressed out about how they're going to pay their bills, how they're going to put a roof over their head. You know, that shit is really stressful, you know, just thinking about, you know, how you're going to save money and how you're going to be able to pay for this, pay for that. You know, it's very stressful, you know, just being an adult, period. You know what I'm saying? But although money is a necessity, you know, it's the number one necessity that you need to have money to survive in this world and although you know you have people that become successful and rich and they start making so much money and stuff like that and I was just thinking to myself like you know it would be nice to have a lot of money because you know I'll be able to take care of my family but overall it's not going to make me happy and I feel like you know if I start to if I was to ever get to that level of success that I will be very miserable and I will probably feel more depressed and sad than what I do, you know, feel now. And a lot of people will say that, you know, that's crazy. Like, you know, you know, money is everything, you know, that's going to just make me happy. And, you know, I'm never going to be disappointed again. And I'm not saying everybody thinks like that, but most people think that, you know, money is going to cure all that happiness, you know, and it's not. And I feel like, you know, a lot of times happiness comes from, you know, having good, you know, relationships with, you know, people that you really care about. And I'm not saying like fake people or people that you don't like. I'm not saying that people, that pe saying that about, you know, to surround yourself with fake people that you don't like. I'm talking about the one the people that you do like that you do care about and i was just thinking like you know some of my best memories was when i was around when i had good friends in my life you know what i'm saying some of my best memories when i had good friends in my life and when i had um i could just think about moments when i was just spending time with certain people or certain friends or whatever and i built a relationship with certain people you know i was really happy in my life of course, like when I was really young and a, and a kid and stuff like that. But, you know, when you're young, of course, you're not thinking about bills and all that type of stuff because, you know, you're a kid. So, and I, feel, and I feel like, you know, even if, you know, you did have financial responsibilities as a kid, those, the money would not matter. You know, the only, I feel like the number one thing that brings hap people happiness is from good relationships, you know what I'm saying? And you would, you could have like a lot of people in this world that probably have been in a relationship or had a friend or something like that, and they probably lost contact with them or the person probably broke up with them or, you know, something, something just, you know, happened where they just broke off. And, you know, a lot of people would get depressed because they didn't have those people in their life no more you know what I'm saying and they felt like a emptiness in their heart because they didn't have those people in their heart in their life anymore and now that I you know when I really look back on you know things and stuff like that I don't think about all oh, the times where I had a lot of money or times where I went shopping you know those were in my happiness happy happiest moments I mean it felt good at the moment to be able to buy what you want and to have money in your pocket but that's not something that brings you true happiness, you know what I'm saying? And when I was younger, I had this girl that I was friends with, you know what I'm saying? And 
you know, she was a really good friend. Like, she was kind. You know, she was sensitive. She was nurturing. She, nurturing, she was caring. And she treated me, you know, with respect. You know what I'm saying? And she cared about me. You know what I'm saying? And I think further on into our, into our friendship, you know, I began, began to have feelings for her. You know what I'm saying? And... To be honest, I've never really had feelings for a man before. I've never had strong feelings um, for any man, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I just don't really see men like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't really find men attractive. You know, I'm not sec really sexually attracted to men. I'm just not. And my happiest moment in my life was when I was spending time with this girl. You know what I'm saying? I was I had to be about probably not even 10 years old but I could just remember how happy I was when I was around her and I would just thinking to myself how much I would like to have somebody like her in my life again you know what I'm saying um and it's a lot of times I get really really depressed because you know I think to myself you know you know I'll probably be alone for the rest of my life I might not be able to build a connection with another person the way I built the connection with, you know, that person, you know, it's, it's really, really hard to, you know, build, you know, friendships and relationships with a lot of people because you just don't have that connection. You just don't vibe with people like that. You know what I'm saying? You, um, and most people, you know, most people, you know, will tell you that, you know, it's very, very few people in their life that they respect, that they like, that they love, that they care about. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I just don't build and I don't feel for people like that. You know, to be honest, you have to really be special. You have to really hold a special place in my heart in order for me to have those type of feelings t towards you. You know what I'm saying? And now that I look back on it, you know what I'm saying? I could just think about how happy I was that time in my life. I was really, really happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can reach the stars or touch the moon or something. That's how happy I was. And it's not to say that, you know, I am I feel really super down in life. You know, I do get down in life because, you know, that's, you know, that's just human nature. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you know, in a way, I do want to be successful, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, you know, I would probably have more access to different kinds of people if I had that type of money, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, in some ways, you know, I do find women attractive, you know you know what I'm saying? I do find certain women attractive, and I, I think to myself, like, you know, maybe if I had this or if I had such amount of money... You know, I could attract certain people into my life. Not a man. Not a man. I'm not trying to attract a man with money. I'm not thinking about them. But, you know, um, I feel like, you know, women just have this, cer this certain nature about them, you know, that is warming. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times women, we relate to each other on an, a more emotional type of level. Um... And I think that's why a lot of times men want want a lot of money. I know that's why they want a lot of money because they want access to beautiful women and looks and sex is very important to men. That's one of the number one things that makes a man happy. So I'm not mad about the fact that they want a lot of money so they can track, you know, beautiful women and, you know, build certain relationships with certain people and stuff like that. And I, I do feel like um human interaction and you know being able to build you know a relationship with certain kinds of people is very important for your love life and your health and your heart and it helps to keep your stress levels down you know what i'm saying and i feel like you know we're, we're just in a point in a time in life where everything is just so fake people are just so fake and disingenuous you know towards one another you know what i'm saying people can be very cruel towards another very vicious and which is another reason why i keep to myself but you know i do feel like you know there are people out there 
you know, that don't move like that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody needs, you know, those spe that special connection with, you know, certain kinds of people, you know, to, you know, to stay healthy, you know, to keep their, sh their, sh their stress levels down. You know what I'm saying? And people really sound stupid when they say that relationships don't bring happiness. Relationships don't bring happiness when you're around the wrong kind of people. But when you're around the right kind of people, you know, relationships are everything. They do bring happiness, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people have become suicidal and very depressed when, you know, when certain people left out of their life, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're in a relationship, whether it's with a man or a woman or a woman or a woman, a man or a man, and... For for no reason, this person no longer wants anything to do with you. They no longer want to be a part of your life. You know what I'm saying? You're going to, your heart is going to sink. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to feel like, you know, what the fuck did I do? Like, why doesn't this person want to deal with me? Why doesn't this person want me? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you're just so happy, you know, when you're around that person. You know what I'm saying? To have that snatched away from you. You know, that is heartbreaking. That is seriously heartbreaking. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like relationships do play a big part in of your happiness. And that's why a lot of people just aren't happy. Because they don't take relationships serious. They treat each other like, just like anything. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like, you know, it is important to build relationships and to have that connection with certain kind of people in your life and that's just really what i wanted to touch on but y'all have a blessed day